we work hard there. Shout out to all my guys. I love them. Go dogs. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do next year. When you were here a year ago, not here, but just watching all your brothers do 15 draft picks, and now where you are, it's been surreal the last uh, 12 months? Uh, yeah, it's been so real. You know, it's almost like an out-of-body experience, man. I had a time to step back and see on the other side of the field. Um, I wasn't on the white lines. I did win a national championship here. We, me and Robert Bill went in the locker room. We roommates here, so we was reminiscing when we got our x-rays. I was like, Bill. This is the first one in 41 years. We was right here. That's crazy. Now we got two of them things. Um, really, I just I play within the scheme of our defense. You know, then that's what you learn playing with the scheme and just really try to you know do don't do too much you know play your ball and be yourself that's what coach smart taught us um i'm an explosive guy i got a good first step and um i really love ball i've been playing it since i was four and i just really watch von miller and see how he does things he's like poetry in motion to me you know that's one of the best pass rushers in the game right now still even though his knees injured i don't care what no one says Man, working hard and loving the program and Coach Smart. All I just know, man, he believed in me because a lot of people think I was undersized, and I, I'm not like other guys. You know, some guys I wouldn't say take the easy way out, but when things don't go their way, especially like in life now, guys transfer, guys leave. That's just not how you do. You stick in your program, you work hard, and you prove to your coach that I should be on that field. And um, I really, I had to sit back. It wasn't. The guys in front of me were better, man. Aziz Hojalari, man, I would just watch guys work. And a lot of people don't say that, like, but I was a young kid. You know, I had a lot of learning to do. I didn't know the system. I didn't know the plays. And that's when, if you don't know your plays and stuff, your coach can't put you out there. And that's where a lot of people fall off at. But, you know, I just worked hard and never, never doubted. And my mom always told me, man, you never had it easy in life. So just keep working. <laughs> Man, I just want to go ahead and clear this up right now to y'all. JC is just misunderstood. He's probably one of my favorite teammates to play with. And he's one of those guys I look to my left and nod my head. And he already know we all on the same page. So I love pass rushing with him. I just being around him in the locker room. He's just an amazing friend and, man, amazing guy to work out. If you haven't seen somebody squat, that's a grown man right there. And he need to go watch him squat at least. No, I'm not going to do the bench. Uh, my strength is good. If you see, I'm still, I am still look kind of big, but I'm still working. Um, man, shout out to Proactive, man. RC, they got me right. And um, right after the natty, I just I stayed out in California. I didn't go back. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and say, Devin, I miss you, baby. I love you. Well, first, you know, I got to go in there and prove myself to the team. I can't be a leader right out the gate. You know, you got to prove yourself to the players, then the coaches, and then, you know, hopefully I can be that leader one day in somebody's program and just know that I'm, I'm player-led and I'm self-driven. You're not going to have to tell me to go. I promise you. I'm going to just go naturally on my own. I wake up out of bed juiced up. I'm ready. I'm just excited. Man, we play the best game in the world. I tell people, man, don't ever get down on yourself. This is an amazing game. Man, a lot of people were, that's again, he's misunderstood, man. You think that my dog worried about first round grazing. No, man, my dog loved football and he loved being out there playing with us. And that's what I say. A lot of people put bad lights on him and stuff like that, man. He wasn't worrying about 40 snaps or 50 snaps or getting to the league or none of that. He was worrying about winning games. And that's what we do at Georgia. We win games. It bothers me deeply because people just don't know. Like, if you can't question somebody's character, especially like if you question my character, I feel like that's an insult, and I hope you're ready to fight if you question my character. Yeah. 
that. Yeah, I just answered that question, man. It's no, you're okay. I I say it again. You know, kids need to hear this. Like, stick it, like stick it out. Just cause things get tough, don't run away from things. Like in life, if when things get tough, you're gonna quit on your wife, you're gonna quit on your kids, you're gonna transfer on your wife and kids when things get tough. What if your if you married your wife for 10 years and she get cancer, you just gonna get up and leave? That's how I think about it, man. You'd be a man of character no matter what you do, and that's how my mom raised me. Yeah, I know certain times, you know, God's been in the program for a long time, and, you know, he's been in there for four years, and he got his degree, and, you know, he only has one more year. I feel like he did it the right way. You know, he talked to Coach Smart, and he said, Coach Smart, you know, if I have other opportunities at other places, would you let me go? And they said, of course, and we want you to play because, you know, we got new young players coming in as well. And I just feel like you it's a certain way that you do things. And that's what I would learn at Georgia is a certain way you do everything. What did he bring to your team as a player? Man, that was my dog. That was my roommate. Me, Tresman, and Kobe. you talking to the wrong person about Tresman, man. That's my guy, man. So, you know, what he brought to the team, a lot of guys think just because you're not playing, like, we're never a cancer. You never want to have a cancer on the team, and he wasn't that. He brought a lot of good things to the team, and we all bring energy and juice every day. Like When I wasn't playing, I understood my role, and if you understand your role at our program, you're going to do amazing. Uh, no, I, I really didn't. Uh, I called them and asked a couple questions. You know, um, N'Kobe helps me out a lot. That's my guy. That's my middle linebacker. Um, we see eye to eye on a lot of things because we made a lot of the same calls in the box, man. We were saying tight right and stuff, you literally yelling it together, empty checks, we yelling at the same time together. And that's the type of connection that we had just as linebackers. Me, him, and Quay, man, it was fun. Even Trayvon, you know, I love playing with those guys, and I'm going to miss it, I promise you. Um, you know, after the natty, I didn't, I didn't go home, you know, and it's the first time I'm talking about it. And, um, that's my, that's my guy, you know, and that's one person that never did anything wrong. And I got sensitive in Cincinnati. I get sensitive talking about it just cause I love him. And, um, he never did anything wrong in his three years. He was supposed to graduate. Most people don't know his, his brother passed like that. And I'm just, I'm sorry to his mama. No one should, no one should live like that. You know, no one should deserve to die like that. He never did shit wrong. I'm sorry for my language. He never did anything wrong. Three years in a row, that man showed up, worked in day in and day out. And um, he a two-time natty champ, man. You know? And it's written in stone. So um, that's all I'm going to say. And I said earlier, she laughed. She just understand that what I didn't mean. Devin, I love you, baby. In 7-7, seven, seven, you living forever. You know, do it for Dev. That's what I tell them boys at Georgia. You lost a brother. Do it for Dev. I'm sorry to get emotional, man. I'm the juice guy, man. Y'all good. But um, this is my first time talking about it. Um, Cincinnati, they brought it up, and I got emotional, too, just because I care. It's not like we don't play football. Most people think it's just a game, man. Those are my brothers that I go out there with. We eat together. We be in the locker room together. We shower together. We get in the hot tub together. So it's it's more than a game. Most people think it's just a game. But especially at Georgia, man, that connection piece real. When you sit in a school session with somebody and learn their life story, you will give them an extra inch. You will come pick him up during the workout. And that's what we do at Georgia, you know. Any kid that goes there, if they call me or ask me for anything, they know foe, foe always going to be there. That's what I tell them. Come lean on foe. Man, I'm country, and all I can say is I'm caught strong. I don't look like it, but, I man, I'm at the point of attack. I like to get after it, and, you know, I play like my hair on fire. So, you know, most people be like, you know, you're not strong. Like I told Quay, when after workouts in South Georgia, I used to go move hay bales. So after I lived waste, I used to go help move hay bales, and Quay used to go throw watermelons on the back of a truck after workouts, after we run. So that's just one thing that we just do in the South. <laughs> Man, I wish I could just work with him, you know, and I'm I'm not one of those people that is just saying it. Like, 
I heard that after every time he he does a team drill, either six plays, he runs a gasser. I just finished. I just found that out. I told him every day that he ran a gasser, I'll run a gasser too with him. And I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. If it takes to be a Hall of Fame, if it takes me to get 10 sacks and move like him, whatever he's doing, I want to do. Uh, yes, I met with the Bills, um, but... Man, he's a great player. I would never know nobody game. Um, he is the competition, but, you know, we all pass rushes and we all learn from each other. It's not competition, man. You know, um, I wish, you know, we would talk a little bit more when he was at Bama, but it really, you know, different schedules, different times and stuff like that. But um, we all sit down as pass rushes and talk. You know, you in the NFL now, if you get two pass rushers on the same team, it, you can be dangerous. Man, I, I did spoke to the Steelers, and that's one of my coaches that I watched growing up, and he impacted my life just as a game, as a young kid. I, um, I, and I told him that when I, when I first met him, he probably thought I was a fanboy, but I was going to be honest. In all my interviews, I was honest in myself. And um, him and Coach Reeds, I just, you know, I watched him, man. Coach Reed, what he did on offense at Philly, what he did, and, and the, what he's doing with the Chiefs now, he's affected the game. Those people infected our game, and you just have to tell them that. You just can't walk in, oh, yes, sir, this, that. They're coaches. You know, they're people, too. And um, I just want to let them know how much they affected my life just as a football player. Don't you think that Kirby 